evening, everyone, and welcome. Hello. Yes, put your hands together. Thank you very much. We're down here at the Mount Erica in Paran for the Melbourne night. You must be pretty stoked. Yeah, we've got a bloody good line up here for you tonight, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be all smiling and getting your uh, all the cockles of your heart nice and warm. It's Demons Night, and we've got two fine little champions here for you that you're really going to enjoy, so we want you to get involved. We've already spoken. It's the live and interactive footy panel show that is That's Good for Footy. Tonight's called Footy Fanatics. As I said, it's Melbourne tonight. Um, you're going to see the players tonight like you haven't seen them before. Bernie Vince is on here for the first time, so that's going to be pretty exciting. So I'm not going to muck around. I'm going to get the boys out here and we're going to kick it off and have a good time. You all into that? Yeah! All right. Our first panellist, he was born, all right? Our first panellist, he was born on the 2nd of October of 1985. He debuted in 2005. He was the number 32 draft pick of 2005. He's Melbourne's third best and fairest in 2014. Uh-huh. International rules player of 2011. Michael Tuck medalist of 2012. He's played 186 games and kicked a total of 109 goals. He wears the number 23 on his back. Please welcome to the stage, Bernie Vince. It's a grand old flag. It's a high-flying flag. It's the emblem and for you, it's the emblem of the team we love, the team of the red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue, and we sing this song oh, to don't you. Don't wear yourselves out. Should all acquaintance be forgotten? Keep your eye on All right, that was nice. That was very nice. But you should have saved yourself because we've got another one. Our second panellist, he was born on the 26th of March, 1991. He debuted in 2009. He was the number one draft pick of 2008. He wears the number four on his back. He's played 122 games and kicked a, a total of 97 goals. Guess who it is? Please welcome to the stage, Jack Watts. It's a grand old flag. It's a high flying flag. Yeah, what's he? It's the emblem for me and for you. Woo. It's the emblem of... <laughs> Team we love, the team of the red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue. Come on, and King, sing we it, sing, sing this song to you. Should all the acquaintance be forgotten? Keep your eye on the red and the blue. All right. Well done. Thank you very much. All one and all, uh, basically, you've welcomed both the boys to the stage. We're pretty excited to have me. I'm pretty pumped. I reckon it's going to be an awesome night. You guys have been fantastic, and we're going to get into this segment because this is a really good show, and this is a really good segment. It's called What About Me? That's right, it isn't fair, but we're going to get stuck into it anyway. I'm going to ask the boys a series of questions in this segment called What About Me? And it's basically a little bit of so as we can get to know you a little bit, all right? It's like an old man warming himself into a nice warm bath. So we're all going to feel nice and comfortable and go, I know these boys and I feel quite personable to them. So I'm going to start uh, with you first, Bernie, and I'm going to ask you, um, I grew up in... I grew up in Stansbury, on York Peninsula in South mm -hmm. Australia. Okay. Surely there's not someone from Stansbury. Oh, yeah, we've got some York Peninsula. <laughs> Port Victoria, I think. Not yeah. far away. Okay, so all right, good, good. good. Didn't uh, see um, you there, Karen. Yeah. yeah, nice to see you. Welcome along. <laughs> um, I have X amount of brothers and X amount of sisters. Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about you. No, no, no. I, 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 no. I don't, I don't it know. It is called What About <laughs> Me, but in this instance it's about you. Uh, I've got four sisters and I'm the only boy, so no brothers. Okay, all right. My nickname is... Oh, Fossil. Fossil. <laughs> oh, elaborate. Uh, For those out there that want to know. I'm big like a dinosaur. <laughs> no, right. I'm the oldest at our, at our club by, okay. I think, a year and over a year anyway. Who's okay. the next oh, oldest? The bristle. So. Oh, the bristle. Yeah, I call everyone bristle, but now <laughs> they call me it. All right. Okay, good. My worst habit is? Uh, worst habit. Eating Duxie's chips. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with that. All right. Okay. My best feature is? Um, face. Oh, Definitely right. not my face. body. All right. Okay. <laughs> my best feature is my face. I like most of the I'm girls. Looking are going, forward to watching oh, yeah. this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Um, my favourite meal of all time is? Uh, pa I love pasta. Pasta? Yeah. Favourite right. pasta dish? Uh, look at. Chicken avocado. Chicken avocado. Mm. All right. Pine nuts. All right. 
Yeah, okay. My favourite movie of all time is? Uh, Shawshank Redemption. Oh, how many footballers say that? All right. Um, yeah. One of the best memories I have is? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that. I haven't got a great memory, so you've got to Vegas? ask me something that's just Vegas. Vegas a goldfish. Or, yeah, Vegas. Has Vegas. Got some good memories uh, there. How many footballers say that? <laughs> All right. Um, I have always wanted to? Uh, be able to sing. Okay. All right. Good, yeah. good. Um, I love nothing more than? Uh, going to bed. Going to bed. All right. All right. That's what happens there? Yeah. <laughs> no more, no more. You'll get your turn. <laughs> um, when I was growing up, I wanted to be? Uh, a truck driver. Truck driver? Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know cool. Oh, I don't know why, because I used to love the big semis. I used to come in and yeah. pick up the uh, sheep. So we've got a good transport company down here, yeah, actually, okay. in the knee bones. Oh, oh uh, good. Good sponsor yeah. of the show, too. Or yeah. shortly. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> They're getting a fair yeah. run, aren't they? <laughs> Wonderful. All right. My first kiss was? Uh, a girl called Jess. Oh, I didn't ask for a name, but yeah, that's good. Oh. Yeah. Uh, was it good, though, or was it... What, what do you mean? What was the question, then? Well, my first my first kiss was awkward. <laughs> oh, it was sorry. Wet. Can you describe it? Was, it? Uh, yeah, you can I'll describe show it. show you if you want. <laughs> 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 I'm sure... <laughs> oh, oh. Jeez, I'm, I'm all blush. I'm blushing. I'm sure there's other girls in the audience that oh, might take care on it, but I'll just go with... I'll kiss Watsy a few times. <laughs> 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 we have, haven't we? Pretty yeah, true. Yeah, Pretty true, I think. <laughs> All right. Now, um, Bernie Vince, the number one song the day you were born was this. That ain't working. That's the way you do. Money for nothing. Makes you feel old, yeah? Okay. All right, so yeah, that was uh, money for nothing. Yeah, money and for chips nothing. for free. And chips for free. <laughs> Duck, or Duxy's chips for free. Yeah, oh, okay. Chicks. No, oh, chicks. Oh, well, oh, chips. We'll go with chips yeah. for Duxy. Yeah, but it is chicks, yeah. <laughs> um, now it's over to you, Mr. Oh. Jack Watts. I want to ask you exactly the same questions. What about me? I grew up in. I grew up in Sandringham. Sandringham? Bayside, yeah. Bayside, okay. I have X amount of brothers and X amount of sisters. Two older sisters. Yep. Um, yeah, both doing quite well. Okay, Lovely good. people. Yep. My nickname is? My nickname? Uh, <laughs> Whopper. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, um, it's a family yeah. show. What's he? What's he? What's he? What's he? All right. Okay. Is there another one, Bernie, that? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Um, hung. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My worst habit is? Because it's hungry. hungry. Worst habit. Um, geez, I don't know. Yeah, oh, my worst habit is not having any. I must have bad. something. Um, you should out ask my housemates. Okay. Maybe messy or okay. something right. like that. Um, uh, my best feature is? Yeah. Keep it clean, Bernie. <laughs> feature. Um, this is what oh, I was my personality. <laughs> my personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, look at all the girls. <laughs> just, oh. Yeah, well done, mate. I like that. My favourite meal of all time is? Mum's lasagna. Yeah, can't go past that. My favourite movie of all time is? Uh, I've got so many. I'm a big movie freak, but yeah. um, probably Interstellar. Oh, mm, yeah. Just a bit new, but yeah. love it. Okay, good. Yeah, it gets, good. gets yeah. you thinking, you know, yeah, right. about life. And, yeah, yeah, it's yeah good. good. All right, I like that. Um, one of the best memories I have is? Um... The day I picked up my dog, Jet. Oh, okay. All mm. right. The day I picked up my dog, Jet. All right. I've got to do it. What sort of dog? And uh, how long ago was this? a Labrador cross German Shepherd. Beautiful. He's about this big. That's right. We've spoken about yeah. this previously. Well done. Okay. Um, I've always wanted to. Ooh, I've always wanted to. Play the grand final. Win a grand yeah. final <laughs> with the Ds. <laughs> well done, mate. All right. And do a European summer. <laughs> <laughs> I love nothing more than? Bernie Vince. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting all the right answers here, and we haven't even paid them yet. This is fantastic. Um, when I was growing up, I wanted to be? Um, oh, I was a bit boring. I wanted to be an architect. Okay. Uh, George Costanza-like. Yeah. All right. Okay. My first kiss was? My first kiss was just beautiful, actually. It was oh. on my 12th birthday. 12th birthday? Um, yeah. Belle, Belle Young. 
Yeah. Um, I walked around there actually on yeah on my twelfth birthday and oh, she laid one on me. It was these two young girls down the front. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. It's like they've just opened up their Christmas presents. Uh, that's awesome. All right, uh, thank you for that. Um, Jack, what's the number one song of the day you were born? Was this? <laughs> well done. Ooh, you got some moves, I'm, I'm seeing way too much from you tonight. Um, we're going to go straight to the floor now just to get a little bit more insight. So we're going to cross over to Sandy and find out who Sandy's got down there. Who have you got, darling? Guess who I've got. Duxy. Oh, Duxy. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> wow. All right, let's see what he's got. Is this the Duxy? Sean Dux show? Or? <laughs> yeah, it's a, not yet, but he, I think he wants it to be. All right, go Dux. for it, mate. What do you got? Dux, who's your question to? Um, both of you guys. Um, just... When, like, you travel uh, to interstate games, right? Um, what's your feeling when you see fans actually go to the airport to wish you off <laughs> and all you, wish you luck, luck for the games? It's a very good question. Well, very we actually nice. we see a couple of the fans down in the front row here at the mm. airport every time, and um, I think it just gets the trip off onto the right foot. Let's be honest. Good. To see some uh, some loyal fans down at the airport, it's pretty special for the boys, and we carry that through. Good feeling. Yeah, well done. Tony. Yeah, I love it. I love seeing this, especially when Duxy's sitting up in business class. <laughs> <laughs> but, really? Uh, he does. That's the only way he travels. Yeah, first right. First class. But, um, oh, that's beautiful. Well, thank uh, you, Sean. Sandy, way. what else you got, Tully? Okay, I've got Karen here. Karen? Uh, question to Watts. Welcome, Karen. Hi. Uh, Jeff. What date are you going to sign your contract? Whoa! <laughs> wow! Great Ooh. question. Great let's, question. Let's not muck around. Let's get straight to the point. I did have that one coming up, and I just let's I phrased that with him the at the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's very, very close. So, um, yeah, I haven't quite put pen to paper just yet, but um, hopefully within a week. <laughs> if I go up to the Gold Coast, is Sin will come, is she? Yeah, if you don't sign with Melbourne, she's going with you. Okay. I will not put up with what's over. All right. Well, I think you're pretty safe. You can oh, stay at home. See, there's so. your scoop. Push a little bit far and you'll get it. I think the words imminent might be in that sentence somewhere. And Sandy, you down the back there. Who have you got there, Del? Got another Karen here. She's got a question for Jack. Hi, Karen. Hi. Apart from Bernie, who's your favourite teammate? Ooh, I don't like many of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Doesn't look no. like it. You yeah. guys don't get along at all. No, no we've, got a, we've got a pretty good group. Um, probably the, the guys that I spent a lot of time with are around my age. So uh, Maxie Gorn and um, Jack Trengo. We've done a few um, trips over to the States and to Bali and stuff together. So you, you form a pretty close bond there. So. Yeah, well, that's not quite with the boys, but uh, Max is our number one ambassador, isn't he? Isn't he? He's doing well. So, um, yeah, those boys. Beautiful. All right, well, there you go. Now, that's us getting to know a little bit about the boys and obviously finding a little bit out from the floor. So, could you put your hands together for the boys and thank them for doing What About Me? Beautiful. We're going to go straight into the tips. That's what we're here to do. A little bit of football talk. So let's go for uh, round 17. Thank uh, you very much. Let's get ready to rumble. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. We're going to uh, go through these games fairly quickly tonight because the last thing you want to do is hear what who's in, who's out, what's injured. We're not interested in any of that anyway. We want to find out more about these boys. So we'll just do what we need to do. We're going to go Thursday night, which is tomorrow night, or Tonight, if you're watching this tomorrow night, well, that gets too confusing, so we won't go there. So Thursday, July the 14th at the SCG, 7.20pm. It's Sydney versus Hawthorne. Let's hear the Sydney song. Cheer, cheer, and and thank you very much. Boys. And we'll go straight to the Hawthorne song. We're happy and we've heard enough of that. So Sydney versus Hawthorne should be a cracker game. What do you think, boys? Yeah, match of the round, apart from our game. Yep. Um... <laughs> Too true. <laughs> Obviously, I think whoever wins this ends up on top. I think Sydney yeah. go ahead if they win. So we played Sydney uh, only a couple of weeks ago up in up in Sydney, and uh, 
you know, it was pretty wet and they yeah. ended up beating us pretty easily. So they're a very hard contested type side. And I, I think being at home, they'll they'll get the chockies. Yep, I agree. Uh, probably flag favourites, the winner out of this too? Would you would you go as far as that or we're still too far out? Oh, uh, what did Clarkson say? They don't give a toss who's the favourite at the <laughs> moment, uh, which is probably a fair call. Um, he can say that. <laughs> he, he can, coming off three flags. Yeah. But they, they come right at the right time, Hawthorne. So I think yeah. it's yeah, it's a bit early to say that. Yep, but. yep good. Um, Jack, your thoughts? Yeah, I think Sydney as well. Yeah, I good, think, mate. yeah, all those reasons. Beautiful. Um, Friday, July the 15th, we're heading across the uh, Nullarbor over to the Domain. Uh, Fremantle versus Geelong. Let's see that, Sam. Oh, no, that'll do. And uh, let's hear the Geelong song. We are Geelong, the greatest That'll do with that. So this is Friday Freedom night, July 15th, 6.10pm. Boys, thoughts? Tips? Well, Frio came up against an absolute juggernaut last week, so... Um, <laughs> Didn't they, just? Yeah, they might bounce back, but... They um, might be a bit sore too, you'd say. They yeah. might be a little bit sore, so uh, yeah, I'd say probably Geelong. Okay, good. Yeah, Ready? Geelong to bounce back after their loss last week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, straight away. Um, Saturday, July the 16th, MCG, Richmond versus Essendon. Let's hear the Tigers song. Away from Tiger That'll do with that. Um, and they're playing Essendon, so let's hear their song. And that'll do with that one as well. So MCG, Saturday afternoon, 1.40, boys, tips. Yeah, I, c- I can't see Essendon. They actually played pretty well last weekend, but yeah, I can't see them getting over Richmond. Uh, Dusty Martin's on fire for Richmond, so yeah. they'll yeah. get, o- get them over the line. Yep, good. Yeah, Bombers seem to play really well early, and then they just, you know, Fade the away. length of a game, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit too much for them. I'd yep. love to see them win, but um, I think the Tigers will, yep. will get them. I agree. Well done, mate. Okay, uh, Eddie Head Stadium, 4.35 on Saturday afternoon. It's North Melbourne versus Adelaide. Let's hear the North song. Do with that, so thank you, Sam. Straight over to the Port Adelaide song. We got the power to win, power to roll. All right, thank you, Sam. Uh, North versus Port should be a cracker game. Um, I think North Melbourne because they're playing at Eddie Had, but who knows? Because they the last seven weeks have just been well, you know, well, all over we the shop. Want North to lose because yeah. that, that's the final spot that we're chasing. Sure. So, uh, well, in that case, I'm going to change my tip. I'm going to go for Port. Go for Port. Yeah, Let's okay. go for Port. Can't believe Although I said Port's that. Port's the one above us, but um, mm. yeah, I think we'll North Melbourne are the ones we've got to catch. So yeah, yeah, okay, good. Um, Bernie, what do you reckon? Yep, here, here. Here, here, here. Enough said and done on that one. Um, we're going to Kazali Stadium. Wow. All right. Um, Bulldogs versus Gold Coast. Let's hear the Bulldog song. Sons of the and that'll do for that. And let's hear the Gold Coast one. We are the sons of the Gold Coast sky, where the team All right. Thank you very much, Sam. Um, Bulldogs, Gold Coast, Kazali Stadium. I, I, the only thing I like about this game is the name. Uh, Kazali <laughs> Stadium. It's so in Cairns, is it? Yeah. Cairns? Yeah. Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Bulldogs home, home game. game. Sorry, Duxy. Duxy, Duxy, we need you to get up here. Comments. No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Whack you with his bat. <laughs> no, um, no. Uh, we oh, tried that once before. Gold Coast are actually going for three wins in a row, which... They had a big patch where they didn't win any, but I, I think the Bulldogs will be too good for them up there. Ablett, Ablett out of the shoulder, out for the yeah, season. Yeah, I thought they were, they were going to be a really um, interesting side in the back end yeah. of the year, but then losing Ablett, losing Riscatelli, yeah. it hurts them. So they'll yeah, probably okay. struggle a little yeah. bit from here on, I think. I so. hear you, mate. I hear you. All right, we won't waste any more time with that. We'll head over to the Adelaide Oval. It's Adelaide versus Collingwood. Adelaide song, Sam. We're the pride of South Australia. And that'll do. We don't need to do too much of that song. And we'll go straight to Collingwood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good old Collingwood forever. All right, that'll do. Thank you, Sam. Adelaide Oval, uh, Adelaide versus Collingwood. Adelaide are on, a, on fire at the moment. Collingwood, I'm so surprised, in all seriousness, that they come out and beat GWS. I mean, blew me away. I'm wrapped for Travis Cloak, like I have been for you. Um, Dale Thomas has been people within the AFL community that generally get a bit of a punch when they don't need it. Um, you've had your fair share. Travis Cloak's had his fair share. Good to see him come out and have a good game. But I don't think they're going to beat Adelaide. Yeah, I think it was great to see um, you know, Cloakie come out and, and play a blinder. Um, I think it just shows how close the competition is that yeah. – a team in the bottom eight, you know, there was a lot of talk about bottom eight teams playing top, top eight teams in the last 70 games or whatever it is. Yeah. But 
Um, I think you know a lot of teams in the bottom eight, bottom eight can beat teams in the top eight. So um, you know it's great to see. And you know going on that form, you think Collingwood are, are a big chance here, mm. but I think the Crows over there yeah. are and a pretty good over. side. Yeah. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, I think Adelaide will win. I think they're going for eight in a row now. Mm. The Crows mm. are on fire at the moment. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Colin, you, as what he said, it's such an even comp. You yeah. never know, and Collingwood yeah. can serve up their their best is very good. So, yeah. Yeah, um, if they're good players, fire. You never know. Well, too true, mate. Too true. Um, Sunday, July the seventeenth, MCG Colton versus West Coast. Colton song. We are the Navy Blues. Yeah, that'll we do. That'll do. We're going to keep you all awake in the room. We don't need anybody falling asleep on us. Uh, let's hear the West Coast song. That'll do it with that too. MCG, Kelton v West Coast. West Coast, a bloody good game last weekend. They look, they look really dominant uh, against North Melbourne. Um, so, yeah, West Coast for mine. Yep, same here yep. at the G. They don't play, traditionally don't play great at the G, but no. um, I think they'll still be, <laughs> yeah, be yeah, too good. It. I can sense a little bit of an upset here. Really? So, yeah, yeah okay. I, can cut, I, I don't know why. I've just got a feeling about this game. Okay. Um, MCG. They move the ball Sunday. really well, Carlton, don't they? Yeah, they, if they you give, it's all about the start. I know everyone wants to start well, but if Carlton start well, they can. Well, they beat Geelong not long ago, so we'll see. I've, I can sniff a little upset there. Yeah, uh, do you know what's been really interesting is that they were, everyone got so excited when Bretton, Brendan Bolton came to the club. Oh, wow, that would be a good sis. And now, how excited are they about son of sauce, son of sauce? He's just like, everyone's in love with him. It's just, oh, he's so beautiful. He's so cute. He plays football. He's, and all Kelton supporters, it's everything he says, they're posting it on Facebook, you know. So, um, good on him. Well done. Uh, but, uh, yeah, West Coast. Um, go down to the next game. We're going to head to the Gabba. This is Brisbane versus GWS. Let's hear Brisbane song, Sam. We are the bride of Brisbane town. Well That'll do with that. Go straight to GWS. Oh, look at the excitement in the room. Everyone's staring at me like I'm just stolen lollies. Um, I don't have much to say on this game apart from GWS. Yeah, I think they'll bounce back after a very poor performance last week. So mm. even though Collingwood were good, um, I think yeah, they'll, they'll pump Brisbane. They're sort of struggling at Brisbane the moment. Brisbane are in trouble, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're really battling. So Got a feel for Leper. Yeah. Oh, man. He's I a would legend. hate to be in his shoes. Leper's such a good bloke. Yeah, so he's just yeah. One of the he doesn't deserve but. what's going on, I can tell. Um, all right. Oh, that, that's at the Gabba at 4.40 on Sunday afternoon. But we're really interested in the Etihad game, which is at 3.20 on Sunday afternoon. And that's against St Kilda. When the Saints and uh, I reckon that'll do. Yeah, because they're playing Melbourne. It's a grand old flag. It's a high five. Sing it loud. It's the emblem for me and for you. Woo-hoo. It's, it's the, the emblem of the team we love. Bernie the knows the words too. The red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue. And we sing this song to you. Oh, take. Should all acquaintance be Keep your eye on the red and the blue. All right. Well done. Thank you, everyone. Um, okay. St Kilda versus Melbourne. Um, Eddie Head Stadium. How are you going to win it? Why are you going to win it? What are you going to win it by? Best song by far, that one. Yeah, um, I'd really enjoy it. Too. Even, even when I was playing for Adelaide, I loved that song. So. Oh, good. Um, Beautiful. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> um, the Saints. Um, we actually haven't got. How a much great you love Melbourne? <laughs> we ha- we haven't got a great record against Saints or the venue we're playing. But yeah, um, yeah we uh, we did break that hoodoo. I think it was in round twenty three last year. But uh, yeah, we we don't really want to look back on. We've got a lot of bad records uh, when I first came to the club. But we're starting to get rid of most of them. We're just um, knocking them off one by one. This, you is are. A, this will be another one. This is another. We're going to tick two off in one one hit this yeah, weekend. But yeah, they'll be. I think from all reports, they were pretty disappointed with their game against Essendon. They had a lot of turnovers and um, yeah, moved the ball pretty slowly. So they'll come out. I'm sure they'll bounce back and give us their best effort. Um, they got some really key players that we need to keep quiet. Rewalt always. Has good games against us. Jack Stephen always mm. plays well. Mm. He was outstanding last week. Um, Armitage is always good. Yep. Um, they've got some good defenders as well. So we're going to really have our work cut out. Probably yep. a team we match up pretty well with yeah, or pretty evenly against. Sure. So play yep. a similar style. But 
yeah, we think it's our turn. Yeah, good, good. And obviously these guys do too. I just want to go back to uh, things from last weekend. Best result under Ruzi is seven wins. Um, fantastic. Uh, if you get to nine, it's the first time you've done it since 2006. So that's, that's a nice little goal there. Um, your last four, you've lost at TO Stadium. But um, you obviously first against Frio since 2011, so that was good, and against Frio, which is great. These are these hoodoos I was talking about. Yeah, it's yeah, that's why I just thought I'd well. go into them. Every um, week, there's a one. Yeah, um, got off to a ripper start where you kicked nine goals in the first half, which is really good and positive for the whole team to take on board because that's the kind of football you need to play. It's a great brand of football, hard tackling and, and kicking goals. I mean, we all know that's what wins fo wins football, but you know, easy to say it, not as easy to get out and do it. Jack Grimes, first game, 32 disposals. Bloody awesome. Played um, his 100th this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mitch White in his second um, AFL game with 20 touches. Good, great stats here. Um, Jaden Hutt did, did his best to get amongst it also with 29 disposals. Shit me. He's on uh, fire. Lightning quick. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I'm grammar boy. Yeah. Um, and goal kickers, how's this? Hogan four, Kent three, and What's Jack Watts three. <laughs> Well done, mate. Really good game. Well done. It was seriously good. So, yeah, you're right, Bernie. There's a lot of hoodoos that have been broken. There's a lot of things that are changing at the club. And it's, a, it's great for everybody. I mean, it's a changing of the guard. You're about to change coaches. Um, that's going to be the, the new evolution of where Melbourne's going. I think it's great. Yeah, I think uh, as well we're playing a really good brand of footy and that's yeah. what's so enjoyable for us players. And I'm sure, you know, all you guys watching... Um, you know, we've actually got a distinct game style and it's attacking, it's exciting and it wins game of footy. Um, and, you know, in the dry, so up on, on the weekend, it was dry for that first quarter and we blitzed them and um, a couple of weeks ago we played in the dry, played really well against Collingwood and stuff yeah. like that. And we've had a few wet ones, um, which we're still learning how to play. But, um, you know, Etihad Stadium, dry deck, quick deck, um, should really suit us. Yeah, well done. Can I ask you, most of us were sitting back here freezing our asses off in Melbourne. You guys are putting your heads in ice buckets up and, up on, you know, it looked bizarre. How, what was it like? Yeah, I, I went from having the heater on full ball <laughs> here to having the aircon on flat out up there. So, um, yeah, it was pretty hot and yeah. it, it does, it gets real slippery and mm. um, dewy like with the yeah. footy or handling the footy and then, as what he said, it probably came in wet halfway through the second, was it? And definitely yeah. after half time, we noticed a real difference. So, um, yeah, that slowed it, made it hard to score for both teams. But, yeah. yeah, it was a bit different going from about 10 degrees here to 33, I think yeah. it was up there. Talk so, about extremes. fair difference. Yeah, but I'll go through that because I've got some stuff coming up in uh, a few segments' time. Um, so, uh, basically, that's uh, the boys giving the tip. So, rock and roll on that. Well, cool. <laughs> into our uh, next segment, which is called What Can I Say? Boys are looking at me going, these songs, where are they from? <laughs> no, bizarre, Damo. Um, we've done a bit of the serious stuff. We're about to have a little bit of fun now. Um, I know we've been already having fun, but we're going to get a lot funnier, we hope. So we're going to do a segment now called What Can I Say? I'm going to ask the boys a series of questions. It's up to you how you want to give the answer. It can be a one word or you can go a little bit further. The race to the finals is going to be... This is for both of you. Fast. Fast? <laughs> tight. Tight. Fast and tight. All right. <laughs> All races are fast, aren't they? Eddie Head Stadium should have been... <laughs> Same dimensions, identical to the MCG. Okay. All right. Bernie? Uh, roof shut every time we play. All right. Okay. The AFL de deliberate out of bounds rule is? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually like it, but there's some that are just ridiculous. They'll go over the top. Some weeks it fluctuates too much for me. Exactly. Inconsistent. Yep, good. That'll, uh, the deliberate rush behind rule is? Well, I don't even know that rule. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep, I agree. A night grand final is? On its way. On its way. What do you think, Bernie? I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I like it in the day, but I, I think a, a twilight one might be on the cards soon, maybe. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, the shot clock is? I love it. Gives you time to get your breath back, yep. breathe. Comb your hair. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't look at the screen like what he does to check himself <laughs> out, so I haven't, I haven't noticed it. <laughs> You're looking across at Watsy and he's... Yeah, OK. Um, the MCG is... That's great. Best ground in the world. Beautiful. Heaven. Yeah, I can tell by that smile. That's enough for me. Uh, being an AFL footballer is... Shocking. <laughs> Hard work. Oh, come on, collective side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, we're pretty lucky. Yeah. We're pretty lucky. Bernie? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Love good, it. good. An AFL coach's job is? They're, they're different breed coaches. Yeah. I don't get them. No, no. <laughs> yeah, not, Good answer though, mate. I, like that. I don't think it's, it's for either of us, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Good Friday football is? Hopefully for us. Mm. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah I'll go with that. Yeah. Okay. This, is, this actually relates to the questions I've already asked, but the interpretations of the rules sometimes is? Which rule? All of them. All of them. Baffling. Baffling. Yeah, I reckon just... Hard to understand. Yeah. Because it is. It's the interpretation. I mean, everyone's got an interpretation. So hard to ask an umpire to oh. know what someone's thinking, their yeah. intention when they have the ball. Yeah. Was it to actually put it out of bounds yeah. or... Yeah. Just it's, on that, good I, answer, I don't think it? it's actually the umpire's fault a lot of the time. They cop the wrath on the day, but they're, the coach, that they're told to do something. To, to guess like, what someone's thinking is... I don't know. Well, Almost you can't. I don't even know what I'm thinking sometimes. <laughs> 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 All right. I like it. And the last question for this segment. The bye rounds being played over three weeks is? The bye before, the week after um, the end of the season and before the first final, final yep. is stupid. Yep. We were speaking about it today. And, you know, if a team finishes top four and goes and wins that first final, they're going to play two games in five weeks or yeah. something. and. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough to keep some momentum, momentum going yeah. throughout the final series. I agree. We, okay. we would love two during the year, but yeah, it was two all about during broadcasting. The year would be good. Round, yep. What do we say about round eight and round 16? Yeah, okay. um, just to get through, which would be good, freshen up. But yeah, that, that buy, I think, was off the back of North Melbourne and Fremantle's all last year, resting yeah. players. But yep. Oh, this year's that tight in the top eight anyway. I don't think they'll be resting no. anyway. So it's, you know, they've sort of jumped to something really quickly, which I don't think they should do anymore. They should no. leave the game alone a bit. Yeah, good. I agree with all that too. Well, there you go. That's the boys having what can I say? Put your hands together for them. Thank you. All right, we're this is a segment that we call Say My Name. Well done. We have two contestants up the front here. We've got Harry and we've got Kyle. Put your hands together for them. Now, Harry, you obviously barrack for Melbourne. Kyle, who do you barrack for? Essendon. Essendon. All oh, right, lovely. <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome to both of you. We need you boys to both be uh, on your best behaviour. We're going to be asking you a series of questions. These questions pertain to the surnames of the players from those particular clubs that you support, and I want you to give me their Christian name. All right? Understand the rules? Yep. It's pretty simple. The only thing is you've got a 45-second uh, shot clock. All right? So I want your answers to come out as quickly as you can. We're going to start with you first, Kyle, because yep. you've got the microphone, and we're going to go straight to the Essendon team. I'll be calling out the surname. The clock will be running, and I want you to speak as clearly into the microphone, put do it I under get, your chin, as you possibly can. Is the clock up on the screen? Or? Uh, no, mate. No. no. We're not, okay. we're not no, that right, professional. Oh, okay. Jesus. Well, how am I meant to check the hair? You know? uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't oh. worry about it, mate. Oh. Nobody else is. Uh, we'll go straight from the top. We're going to kick it off. Are you ready to go, Kyle? I am in. Here we go. Hibbard. Michael. Correct. Bell Chambers. Pass. Tom. Parrish. Darcy. Correct. Watson. Job. Correct. Stanton. Brent. Correct. Danaher. Joe. Correct. Merritt. Jackson. No. Uh, well, yes. Well, we... Uh, yeah, there's two. We'll go. That'll do. Gleason. Marty. Correct. Goddard. Brendan. Francis. Correct. Uh, pass. Aaron. Zaharakis. David. Correct. Bugley. Hang on. You're not keeping score. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Because I actually, I know that he's got. Uh, 
He's, got, he's only got two wrong. You tell me again to describe right. this game to me. <laughs> I was ready to hit him with the bat I'm, every I'm 10 seconds here, to the I, timer. I just looked down and I went, what's going on here? So it, it's, uh, it's all right. It, two. He, he passed he only, on he two. He actually only got two wrong. All right, so we're going to start now. Are you ready? I'll just guess Michael. Yeah, uh, Mark. Mark. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it. To, no, we're not going to do anything with that. We'll just go to the next one. Um, Fantasia. Uh, oh. no, pass on that. Pass. Oh, well, there you go. That was 45 seconds anyway. All right. So he ended up getting eight right. Sorry about that, Kyle, but um, I, it was my fault. I should have given him the heads up, you know. Sorry, Bernie. He's so we. Known better. <laughs> well, he did his best, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, so we're going to go straight over to you, Harry. You ready? You got forty-five seconds on the Hi, clock. Jack. All right, your time is going to start now. Hogan. Jesse. Correct. Jones. Nathan. Correct. Slalom. Christian. Correct. Watts. Jack. Correct. Petrarca. Christian. Correct. Dawes. Chris. Correct. Viney. Jack. Correct. Lamumba. Heredia. Correct. Tringove. Jack. Correct. Brayshaw. Angus. Correct. Gorn. Max. Correct. Tyson. Dom. Correct. Oliver. Clayton. Correct. Dunn. Linden. Correct. Stretch. Billy. Correct. Kent. Dean. Correct. Frost. Sam. Correct. Melksham. Jake. Correct. Newton. Ben. Correct. Garland. Colin. Correct. Pedersen. Cameron. Correct. Vince. Viv. Correct. Kennedy Harris. Jay. Correct. D McDonald. Tom. Correct. Wiedemann. Sam. Correct. Hewlett. Liam. Correct. McDonald. Oscar. Oh! <laughs> All right. Wow. I don't think we're going to need to go to a tiebreaker. I'm telling you that right was... now, I wouldn't have been able to do that just then. <laughs> that was eight before. That was... Uh, he finished up with 28. <laughs> Harry, seriously... That's amazing, mate. That's good for footy. Um, this is a segment that we call Get Smart. <laughs> All right. I reckon we're going to go with Mr Jack Watts first and um, I'm just going to explain what's going on here. This is a segment that we call Get Smart. We've got a nice little wheel down the front here, Jack. You haven't had a look at this yet. But it's got eight categories on it. Oh, I'm nervous. And those eight categories have eight questions. And you both get eight questions each. Sandy's going to spin the wheel and on your behalf, Craig's going to be playing for you. He's going to be scoring for you. So we'll know what your score is at the end of it. And we've also got Lauren down here. Can we put our hands together for these two? Thank you very much. And uh, when it's your turn, Bernie, Lauren's going to be turning over the scores for you. So let's give it a spin and uh, hand it over to Sandy. Is there a sports section down there, Might Sandy? Be. Or could be. Mm. Oh, Jack, you got lead singers. Oh. Good luck. Lead singers. <laughs> All right. Let's see what category. Duxy's the one with the moves. Okay, lead singers. Oh, All right, this is trouble. how this one's going to work, mate. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call out the person's name and I want you to tell me the name of the band. Okay. It's not too hard. Okay. All right? So you're going to have eight questions and we want to see how you go. There'll be a tiebreaker if you both end up with the same score. All right, so you're going to be keeping score up the front there, Craig. Your first question is the lead singer of this band. The lead singer is Freddie Mercury. Queen. Correct. Eddie Vedder. Pearl Jam? Correct. Bono. You too. Correct. Stevie Nicks. Fleetwood Mac. Correct. Bon Scott. ACDC. Correct. Bernard Fanning. Well, Powderfinger. Correct. Jimmy Barnes. Cold Chisel. Oh, yes. Michael Hutchins. In excess. Correct. You got them all, mate. Every single one of them. That's eight. All right. Well done, Craig. You look like you're on a winning here, but Bernie is sitting back very nonchalant and comfortable. You could ask me the same questions and I wouldn't get eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sandy, let's see how we go then. I knew that was my era. If it was modern day music. Ooh. Bernie, you have uh, countries and capitals. Good luck. 
<laughs> countries and capitals. All oh, right. Okay. Do you want this your vouchers worse. now, Craig? This could or? be good. Yeah. All right. Here First we go. First thing that comes to my head. Nice and interesting. What I want you to do, Bernie, is name the capital of this country. All right. All you got to do, just tell me the capital of this country. Your first question, China. <laughs> Tokyo? Did you say Tokyo? Yeah. It's close, <laughs> but not quite. Uh, no, it's Beijing. Um, Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, Brussels. Okay. Austria. <laughs> Australia. Um, <laughs> Australia? No, no. Is it Sydney no? or Canberra? No takers. Austria. Vienna. Argentina. Uh, <laughs> that's in South America. It yeah. is, yeah. Oh, no, no, I might, on, I, might, I, I might give him a little bit on, on that. It is in South America and it would start uh, with... Yeah, give me a letter. B. Buenos Aires. Yay! All right. Well done. I like it. Cuba. Uh, Cuba. Oh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, it's Havana. Havana Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's a DJ for everyone else out there. Yeah. Um, Denmark. Poland. Uh, no. Uh, Copenhagen. <laughs> um, Egypt. Oh. Pyramid. <laughs> okay, uh, Cairo. And the last one, what's the score? We better just check. Eight to eight, two, one. Okay. She's been pretty busy there. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, can't keep up. Good on you, Lauren. Well uh, done. Uh, last one, Greece. Athens. Yay! <laughs> All right. You did it, mate. A Same score of. Fin finish with a score of two. Two. Thank you. Lauren was so bored, she didn't even, was, didn't even care anymore. You got eight, though. Uh, well, what's it? You got eight. Congratulations. Uh, which means that you, Craig, win 300 bucks worth of vouchers for Get Smart. Um, all right, this is a segment without any prizes, without any contestants. It's just called Under Pressure. Under Pressure. Under Pressure. Uh, that's Queen, Freddie Mercury. You should have known that. Yeah, that was you your question. <laughs> Not bad. Which leads us into our first question. What was your least favourite subject at school? Geography? Yes. Geography. I have no idea. Thank God I didn't get <laughs> capital <laughs> cities. And I was bad at both. Uh, yeah. Oh, maths. Oh, I hated maths. Maths? Okay. Yeah. Lucky maths didn't come up, aren't we? Hey, uh, which, play do you least <laughs> which play do you least look forward to playing on? This is for both of you, obviously. Uh, Alex Rance isn't too bad. He's a nice guy. Um, no, I used to hate Dustin Fletcher. He was too good. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, what do I hate? Paddy Dangerfield. Nah, he's all right. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just I, actually, right I, don't, I, don't, I don't really hate him. Bit of a lover huh? more than a fighter. Yeah, right? yeah. no, I agree with love that. It. That's good. Um, in season, are you a watch what you eat, uh, eat type of person? Watch it go into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Do you know, Dane Swad said exactly the same answer when, <laughs> I mean, when he was posed that question. Yeah. So you've got something in common. There we go. Yeah, what's he? Uh, probably going a uh, bit of a roller coaster okay. throughout the year, yeah. All right. Um, what is the one household chore that you try to get out of? Uh, all of them. I hate cleaning, hate dishes, uh, <laughs> vacuuming, yeah. mopping, anything, toilets. Okay. So the household it, that covers everything, any anything under the roof, really. Basically, I yeah. mow the don't mind gardens mow on the lawn. And mow but that's on outside, the lawn, so yeah. that helps. Yeah, that's good. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's he? No, we got inside oh, plants. I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit strange, <laughs> to be honest. A bit of OCD, so I like the place to be pretty clean. Right, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, you're invited around to her house. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, would you prefer to play in 40 degree heat in the Northern Territory, three degrees in Tassie, or monsoonal rain on the Sunshine Coast? Three degrees in Tassie. Oh. <laughs> uh, Darwin. Just Darwin. Just because we go out after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I get that. Um, which AFL club do you dislike the most? Richmond. Okay. 
North Melbourne. North Melbourne. All right. Who is your la- <laughs> who is your favourite muso or lead singer currently? I don't even know any. <laughs> <laughs> currently, um, Vera don't, Blue. Don't like? Did you say? Uh, no, no. Who who is your favourite muso or lead singer? Vera Blue. Cute Vera Blue. That's right. Yep. 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 No. There's an old country and western from... Uh... Oh, Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I do know some singers. Okay. Um, Didn't what's know you... they counted. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favourite sport outside of the AFL? Uh, cricket. Cricket. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Basketball. Basketball. Were you happy with the result with Golden with the State? Boomers? Yeah, no, Golden State and... Oh, yeah. Um, I was, actually. LeBron, yeah. I wanted him to... Yeah. To win one back home. It was a pretty awesome Fantastic, story. Fantastic, wasn't it? Um, what do you do to relax and unwind? Uh, I got into a golf, actually. Mm. Yeah. So I've got yeah. the bug there. Okay. Yeah, a lot of us play a lot of golf, take the dog for a walk, go down the beach. You're actually on that other thing tonight doing golf, aren't you? What's that? <laughs> that oh, other yeah. Thing, that, you know, that other... Jeez. Yeah, that, that you, goes well. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> see that, I'm telling you. Uh, good, because you want to watch this, don't you? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, You're pleased to be here, that's right. I think exactly. we broke the world record for the slowest time oh, okay. possible. All right, well, see, now you don't have to watch it. Mm. All right, so you don't. Okay. Um, who would you most have liked to have played with any time over the, uh, their AFL career? Tony Modra. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. You would have been close to playing with him, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. Oh, Foss. Hey? Foss. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, Bruce. Um, oh, for me, um, it'd have to be King Carey, wouldn't it? Wouldn't mind going from Friday, Saturday. Straight Sunday, under the wing. Straight under, under the wing, under the duck's <laughs> wing. Away we go. Excellent, I like it. Um, who would you most want to have the ball to kick after the siren? I would actually say Watsy, oh. even if he wasn't here. Yep. He's okay. probably... Burn. Okay. Burn's the best kick in the Get team. a room, you two. Yeah. All right. Um, who I'm would not be? Saying that because he's here. <laughs> yeah, no, I that. agree. I, I, I know. Um, who would you? Uh, who would you consider to be the most intellectual at the club? Or who thinks they? Chris are? Dawes. Chris Dawes would want him to want us to say yeah. him, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty. Although Colin Garland's up there with. He, kn- he knows stuff that I've never even heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Colin you mean, Garland you, you, has you mean like weird, capitals and countries? Weird sort of knowledge, like strange knowledge, the whereas Dawes is a bit more out of the book. Yeah, ever. right. Okay. Like politics and stuff. Yeah, right. Who was the stingiest penny pincher at the club? Oh, I've got a few of them. Yeah, Christian yeah. Petraka, Jack Viney. Oh, yeah. Uh, Christian Petraka honestly asks to borrow $5.00. On a daily basis, like. <laughs> no, but he asks you for coffee and then wants you to pay. Like, I'll, sh- I'll shout you a coffee. So, like, and oh, then you walk over. Right, walk over. He's like, oh, I don't have my wallet. <laughs> no way. He lives with his parents. He doesn't pay rent, doesn't pay board, no food, no electricity. He's going to be earning squillions. Wow. And wow. Okay. All right. Um, who's the worst dresser at the club? There's a lot of options. Tommy there, McDonald gets. I shouldn't throw stones. I don't really care what I wear, but yeah. Tom McDonald sort of gets everything out of whack. He sort of wears casual like, pants, maybe trackies <laughs> with a really nice jumper or the other way around. Or at least I just wear shit. Or, or he's green. <laughs> shit. Most guys wear shit. <laughs> you allowed to swear on the show? Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> no, shit, no. No, no. No, no, you're not allowed to do that here. Oh, no, good. All right. Um, what's your favourite show on television at present? That's good for footy on... Uh... Oh! <laughs> yes! Make sure you get that, Christy. Right on. Oh, Weekly like that. ritual. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can uh, say the same if you want, Bernie. Oh, that's good for footy. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. I like it. Last one. Uh, who is better at doing the weather, Lavinia Nixon or Rebecca Judd? Depends who's pregnant and who's not. Oh. <laughs> I should have said that. No, that's not bad. That's not that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. That's just I'm yeah. a bit of a uh, I'm a bit of a Jane Bunn man myself. Yeah, well see, I've actually got her in here, but I did that question a couple of weeks ago and most of the guys went, Who's Jane Bunn? So oh. I figured there's not a lot of people watching Channel uh, Seven weather. Uh, we love Jane uh, in my house. Yeah. I don't know Jane Bunn. Yeah. You don't know her? Nah, no. No. That's All no right. surprise. <laughs> 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 well there you go. That's it. That was under pressure. Put your hands together for the boys. So 
how awesome to have you girls up here. Now you're about to hate me. This is a segment that we call, I did it my way. Oh no, oh no not me. I did it my way. All right, we've got five contestants up here. We're starting over here on uh, stage right. We've got Anne-Marie. Put your hands together for Anne-Marie. And Brody. Then Karen. Erin. And Natalie. All right. These five lovely ladies are all going to be singing their favourite <laughs> club song, which is the Melbourne Club song. It's a grand old flag, it's a high flying flag, it's the emblem for, for me and, and for you. It's the emblem of the team we love, the team of the red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue as we sing this song to you. Oh. What do we say? Your old acquaintance be forgot. Keep your eye on the red and the blue. Hey! Not bad. Not bad. I'm just going to go through a little bit of um, stuff in relation to our sponsors. We have a wonderful sponsor on board with us this year. Um, they are a company called The Big Picture People. You can find them in your footy booklets. Please take those home with you. They are yours to keep. But The Big Picture People this year are giving away an $11,000 home theatre surround sound package with a giant three-metre screen. And all you've got to do to enter is go here. Yes, thanks to the big picture people, we have the chance to win a home cinema sports pack valued at over $11,000. You can enjoy big sports, movies, concerts and even video games on a big three metre screen with thunderous surround sound. This home cinema pack is courtesy of the big picture people. To enter, simply log on to bigpicturepeople.com.au forward slash good for footy. Terms and conditions are on the page. Good luck to everyone and thanks to the big picture people, the experts in home cinema. Uh, good luck to those that enter and um, may the force be with you. We've got some huge shows coming up here in the coming weeks and when I say here I mean Melbourne. Um, Melbourne Football Club but Melbourne in general. On the 20th of July we're heading out to the Burvale Hotel in Nutterwadding where we've got Hawthorne's Josh Gibson and Luke Bruce. On the 27th of July, we're heading down to Geelong with Patrick Dangerfield and Jimmy Bartell at the Barwon Club Hotel in Geelong. On the 3rd of August, we're back here for Colton's Bryce Gibbs and Patrick Cripps at the Mount Erica. On August the 10th, we've got Collingwood's Scott Pendlebury and Adam Trelaw at the Mulgrave Country Club. On August the 17th, we're back here at, uh, for Richmond Night with Dustin Martin and Trent Cochin. You should get... Uh Bernie and Dusty to do a show together. Yeah. They go down and play golf with each other yeah. all the time. Good that mates. That would be interesting. That would be a nice yeah. little mix, actually. Food for thought. Wait till I come back after the off-season, I'll be covered in tats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could guarantee that. Um, on August the 31st, we're heading to Tasmania to do a show, all right, with Matthew Lloyd and Brian Lake. We'll be appearing at the Granada Hotel in Hobart, uh, which is in the suburb of Glenorchy. If you want to attend any of these shows, like you lovely people have this evening, it's pretty simple. You go www.thatsgoodforfooty.com.au forward slash register. Register your details, as in your name, who you barrack for, your phone number, your email address. Check your email address. A confirmation will come through. You then nominate the show you would like to attend and the number of tickets you want. It's pretty simple. That's all you have to do. You guys have done it tonight, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. And you've had a good time too, haven't you? Yeah. Hey. Keep all that in. Um, every Wednesday night we bring these, sh these shows and they're obviously live from venues all across Melbourne. If you want to find out more, get onto the www.thatsgoodforfooty website. Uh, get to our Facebook page. Thank you very much to our production crew, uh, Christy, Joe, Andrew. Th thanks to Sam. You're a champion. Uh, really enjoyed what you guys brought to the show again tonight. Can you please put your hands together for two absolute champions of the Melbourne Football Club? <laughs> Bernie Vince and Jack Watts. I honestly mean it. You know this, Jack, because I've had you on the show a couple of times. I love it when you come on. Bernie, you're a new, you're a new favourite, right? I love what you brought to the show tonight. It's been wonderful. Thank you very much for allowing these people to see a little bit more of you boys. Okay? That's been uh, a, a wonderful experience. We hope to have these boys back again. All right? may not be in 2016, but it'll be definitely in 2017. All right? So thanks very much for all your support. Uh, my name is Damien. Thank you and good night. We're here at the Mount Erica Hotel and what a night and what a crowd. We've just had two of the finest from the Melbourne Football Club, Bernie Vince and Jack Watts.
And now I'm just going to ask people what they thought of the show. Now I'll tell you what, you've been on the show that many times, you are part of That's Good For Footy family. Oh, I appreciate that. This is my favourite show by far. It was interactive, it was fun, it was good to represent uh, good old Bernie for the quiz questions and yeah, had a really good night. How did you explain this show to Bernie? Well, it's a tough one because it's unlike anything else. I said you'll have more fun than, uh, than any other show um, and you won't know what's hit you because it's very different um, and I think it took him a couple of minutes to warm up but uh, he started to uh, understand what I meant. Brand new segment since you came last, what do you think? Oh, look, I thought it was fabulous, Sandy. Look, what I would say is I'd encourage everyone to register online and get along to their shows and fill the pubs around Melbourne because it's important that these guys you know, keep their shows going and look, they do a fantastic job. Great, I had a great time actually and I'm glad, uh, glad Jack got me to come along. So. He did say before that he described exactly what it was like. He gave me absolutely nothing. He said, jump in the car and come along. So I'm glad I enjoyed it. And, uh, it's a great show. Anybody in Tassie for the 31st of August, register and get to That's Good For Footy because you're going to have a wonderful time. You've, You've been, been watching That's Good, good For Footy. You've, You've been, been watching That's, That's Good For Footy. So there you have it. They've had their say and now I'm going to have mine. This has been That's Good For Footy panel shows. My name is Sandy. Yeah! Thank you and good night. Yeah! Want more information about the shows? Then log on to the That's Good For Footy website at www.thatsgoodforfooty.com.au. Here you'll find venue dates and lineup, photo gallery, register to win section, competitions, ticket sales and heaps more. 